So, I've now seen Season 6, Episode 7 of Rick and Morty, and yes, I am two weeks behind, and this is the return of the season. It's been off for like a month or two, and I really like this episode. It's going to be hard for me to even try to explain what happens in here, but I really like this episode. The main theme or main story structure of this episode is meta. It's just breaking down meta. But not like negative meta like Rick and Morty normally is. This is like taking what they've been saying, all the meta stuff they've said before, and like amping it to like 120. It's super over the top. There's this whole meta universe that they go into. There's this whole meta team and everybody's name is like a reference to meta. Retcon, flashback, um previously Leon. They're all references to like things that happen in the meta and it, it's fucking weird and I like it. This was only something that could have happened in Rick and Marty and also only something that could have happened now after years of all of these weird meta jabs and stuff thrown at the audience or just throwing meta around for no reason. It, it, like normally when people talk about meta in Rick and Morty, they don't like it because it takes all the levity out of a situation, especially when there's something serious going on and Rick's like, God, I fucking hate this or I already know what's going to happen next. Every time it takes you completely out of the situation, it's like, well, why do I care if the main characters don't care? I guess I should not care as well. But this episode is so good because Rick, for some reason, adamantly hates meta. He hates everything about it, the place they're in, all of these characters, previously Leon, who he refuses to like, he hates all of this stuff. He says, yeah, he throws cute stuff in every now and then to the audience, but like, he doesn't like me. <laughs> it's like, am I supposed to believe you? I don't know if I'm supposed to believe you. This whole episode's about meta, and like, am I being meta? <laughs> currently <laughs> nothing in here really drove a plot forward nothing's like giving you any indications of what the season finale is going to be about but we got the uh we got a returning villain within here the villain from the story train episode he was the main villain in here again because he was looking for motivation and his motivation is motivation that's it they even call it out saying it's lazy which is a meta joke within the meta episode which i guess is on purpose it was a good episode and i think that's all i could possibly say about it joseph campbell was in this episode for some reason even though in reality like he died in the 80s so like why why can rick and morty see him it's it's so wacky and that's all i want for rick and morty if it's not very story heavy, which I don't, I don't care if it's story heavy or not, I just want good episodes and I think this is a good episode because it was so over the top. That's why I like Soul Opposites because Soul Opposites, even though some episodes are really mundane, is somehow still over the top. I can't, I can't explain it that much. It, it, everything just feels over the top. This is exactly that. I don't think it was playing it safe or anything, it's, it was just... A really good episode of Rick and Morty, and I'm kind of surprised about that, honestly. This does leave a lot of questions about what the ending of this season could possibly be about. I don't think it's going to be about C-137's Rick, maybe an advancement of that story, but I don't think he's going to, like, flat out, like, just be dead by the end of this. This, this could go on for many seasons and it's like not get a conclusion to this yet. In my head at least, he's the final villain for Rick. He's the man who pushed Rick into this journey, who killed his wife and everything. So that Rick is the Rick that Rick is after. I said Rick a lot of times right there. They do within the show as well. You're gonna have to get used to it. But with that being said, that's basically it. What are your opinions on this episode? I really like to know. It was very hard for me to come back and like just sit down and talk because I haven't done that in a while. I hope this isn't just a rambling mess of an episode review and I hope I am at least sounding like I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was or if you like this episode or tell me what you want to happen in the season finale i'm going to watch episode eight now so see you in the next video <laughs> goodbye